going on tribe what's going on people I was going to my email this morning and got some correspondence from one of my clients he's talking about happiness talking about how his wife isn't happy how he has really done many good things this year for the family she's just not happy and I had to break the news to her it ain't you there's something going on with her Happiness is a choice. Happiness is something you choose to have in your life or you choose to remove from your life. I know many people are going to go, well, what about if I'm sick? Uh, what about if uh, I lost my job? What about if I, this happened and that happened? And to you, I would say this. All of those things that I just mentioned happened to me. And I made a choice at times to be unhappy. It was a choice. It was a personal decision that I made to be unhappy. When I was going through the dark years, I was not happy. And I chose not to be happy. I dwelled on how the world wasn't fair. I dwelled on how people owed me something and other bullshit like that. When I was not off of my uh, misery with that last layoff, I didn't have time to be unhappy. I didn't have time to be happy. I had to make some shit happen, and I had to make it happen very soon. By being removed from my misery, I discovered a level of personal power I never had. Now, the thing is, I should, that's a misnomer. I should say I discovered a level of personal power I always had I just never accessed never tapped into it because I didn't have the tools or the awareness to do those things and due to the fact that when I got laid off I was in a different frame of mind I was disappointed but I wasn't angry I wasn't sad I wasn't happy I was just active I had to do something I had to do something. So I got pulled out of that misery and that place of me making some bad, crazy-ass decisions to a place where I had to make some better decisions. And in the space of being pulled out of my misery, I saw some things about myself that I never saw before. So when I tell you that happiness is a choice because I've been through it. This isn't from someone who's led this wonderful silver spoon, platinum spoon type life. My life really did not start to rock out until I was 30 something. You know, it was a lot of okay moments, but real unbridled joy. And come in my life until 30 something. And it happened because I started making better choices. I started waking up happy to engage the day. I started waking up enjoying mundane moments. I started, you know, I'm in Target in the middle of the day and no one's there and I'm happy because I'm able to shop and I'm grateful that I can do this when other people are at work. I learned how to choose happiness regardless of what else is going on. When you're on a business, you are going to go through some shit. There is no if you're going to go through some shit. It's a matter of when you're going to go through some shit. The storage auction business took my partner and I through many, many changes. And we found ourselves laughing so much that even when the bullshit was at DEF CON 10, we were still able to laugh, smile, and be happy because it was a choice. It is a choice. No one makes you unhappy. You choose to be unhappy because of the way that you deal with the situation. Now, what does this have to do with hustling? I know it's like, yeah, you know, the inner game, and you're talking about this stuff, Glendon, but what does it have to do for hustling? I'm here for hustling information. Let me break it down for you so it's forever broken. When you are miserable, when you are sad, when you are depressed, you are operating at less than peak hustling efficiency essentially you have shut off parts of your brain that you need to be an effective hustler so if you're depressed unhappy
miserable, you will not be the hustler that you can be. Many people do not understand some of the lessons that I drop on this channel because they're looking for what I call cookie cutter solutions. There are no cookie cutter solutions here and there are no magic fucking jelly beans. What is here is truth. And if you will digest the truth and you don't get a tummy ache, you'll grow and you'll become better. So I have gone through all kinds of madness in my life and I've still been able to wake up and smile and be happy and to look at what someone else may be going through to even have compassion in the middle of the madness that may have been happening in my life at any particular time. You have to get to that point as a person. It makes you a stronger person. It makes you a happier person. It makes you a saner person. If you will always capitulate to someone did something to me, someone made me unhappy. And understand, if something jumps off and you're pissed for the moment or a few days, that's perfectly normal. That's perfectly acceptable. But if you are going to sit in that misery and commiserate with that misery for weeks and months and years, you are one stupid little bitch. Because you have the choice to not do that, but you choose negativity and you choose bullshit over glory. That is your dumb ass making that decision. There are many people who will disagree with me. It's like, well, no, you just can't snap yourself out of misery. And I will say, oh, yes, you can. You may have to practice it a few times before you get the knack of it. But if you want to lead a life of design, you want to lead a life that you are living it the way that you want to live your life. You are living life on your terms. You are waking up each day with joy in your heart. Understand, it's a choice. It is a choice. No one makes you unhappy. You choose it. And you can choose happiness. You can choose gratitude. You can choose many of the more positive ways to deal with life's journey. In each journey, there's going to be a leg on that journey. It's going to be fucked up. It's going to be some shit that's going to drive you crazy. There's going to be some stuff that makes you want to pull your hair out. Go ahead and kick puppies. and I mean, just all kind of atrocious things. But don't fall prey to it. Now, I'll give you a few of the tools that helps me keep my sanity in the midst of madness. Years and years ago, during the dark years, I learned how to meditate, transcendental meditation. I highly recommend it. And if you're a Christian and you're talking about, that's the devil... That's the devil's religion. Fuck you. You ain't paying attention. The realize the meditation is a mental tool to help clear, calm your mind. And if you want to hustle at a maximum level, you need a clear and calm mind. If you are all worked up, if you're all stressed out, if you're all unfocused, you will not reach maximum hustling capacity ever in your life. This is coming from a guy who dropped out of college junior year who was living in a boarding house and when I reached maximum hustling capacity within a matter of six weeks I went from that boarding house to a lovely brick home in Jefferson Park East Point, had a car and a job that was paying me four times what I was making not working one job, bullshit job but two bullshit jobs. So that's what happens when you reach maximum hustling capacity. You can do things in mere weeks that sometimes you can't do in years. And the reason you can't do these things and you have the ability. That's the thing. You have the ability. It's already there. It's there. It's there. You just don't know how to turn it on. And until you quiet your mind, stop falling prey to victim speak, victim mythology, somebody doing something to me. I got all these haters on my ass. I got all these people fucking with me. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm going to tap the fuck out because I'm a weak little bitch. If that's you, just go ahead into the yard, get a shovel, dig yourself your grave, and just jump the fuck in the day. Because glory and living a life of design is for hustlers and winners it's not for little scared little bitches who will fall apart at any moment because life got tough for a spell 
I'm going to tell you something and you will hate me for telling you this. Your life is more good than it is bad. And during those good times, you need to maximize it so you can roll over those rough times with ease. So understand, happiness is a choice. Happiness is something that you choose over misery. Happiness is something that you can make happen today. Now, another part of being happy, and happy is a byproduct of action and accomplishment, which means sitting on your ass, hoping for stuff to get better, is not going to do it. It's just not going to do it. You need to be doing things. You need to be making stuff happen. You need to get on that life train, get your first class ticket, and choose your destination. You're going to be miserable, and it's going to be harder to pick happiness when you are contributing to your misery by doing nothing to make your life better. That is your duty. That is The onus is on you to make your life better. It's not for me. It's not for your mother. It's not for your father. It's not for the world. It's not for your friends. It's not for your kids. It's for your janky ass to make your life better. And when you take that kind of ownership over your life, when you take that type of direction, you will see instant benefit when you stop being a bitch victim. Because when you are a little victim, a little scared little bitch, always worried about what someone's going to say to you, worried about what somebody thinking about you. Don't you know most folks don't give a fuck what you're doing? They're too busy living in their own misery. Think about that. Think about that. So if you want to be happy, and I'm quite sure you do, and you want to up your level of hustleability, get your mental game correct today. And part of that is choosing happiness. Part of that is being grateful for the things you have. If you only have some fucking crumbs, be fucking grateful that you have some crumbs. I'm serious about this. Learn to be grateful for the small things. And it'll be a matter of time before the big things to be grateful for will start popping off in your life. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side. Be sure to subscribe to the Hustler Food email list and check out the blog, Hustler's Food, feeding the soul of your hustle. And with that, I'll see you on the good side.